guys, it's another beautiful Saturday morning and with the favorite teen show which is Teen Talk in 254. Now we all know this is the AFCON month, so which team are you supporting? I support Kenya and I hope they do us proud this time. Sindio, sour. So now if you haven't followed us on social media, our social media Instagram is Teen Talk, uh, Facebook Teen Talk, Twitter Teen Talk. I hope to meet you there and see your feedbacks and let's go straight to the teen store of the day. Hi guys, so this is the teen star segment and today we have a model here. Let's get to know her better. So hi, hi. I'm Sakib. I'm Hope Tracy. Hope Tracy, okay. Yes. So Hope Tracy, you do modeling, I can see. Yes, I yeah, model. And your skills are great. I hope by the end of this show, I'm going to know how to do whatever that is you are doing <laughs> while walking. So Hope Tracy, uh, tell me why you chose modeling as a career. I am personally passionate about modeling. I'm 18 years of age and since I was young, I always wanted to be a model. But during my journey, I felt like a lot of people told me I was short and that is true. But whatever they told me kept discouraging me until I realized that you can be a model and a beauty queen. You don't have to be that tall. I'm 5'4". And yeah, that is why I just decided to choose modeling. I'm passionate about it. So in modeling, they don't choose uh, people who are short. There are different types of models. Oh. The high fashion models, the commercial models, the beauty pageantry models, and there are also print models. Or what? Magazine okay, wait, 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 wait. That's <laughs> 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 so much taken right now. So first, take me slowly. There are okay. beauty models. They are high fashion models. High fashion. What Those do they do? Extra tall models. Oh, five okay. nine. So Those I can be one of them. Uh, yeah, you can. I can so, try. Yeah, you can yeah, try. Yeah, okay. <laughs> After that, <laughs> then. Are the extremely tall models mm -hmm. to showcase outfits and mm -hmm. shoes. Mm -hmm. Then there are commercial models. Mm -hmm. These are the ones who maybe advertise rings, hair, uh -huh, uh -huh. or beauty makeup. And then there are print models who just appear on magazines mm -hmm. or music. And the ones who just pose yeah, like this. Pose, yeah. Okay, so. so. And then there are beauty queens. These are pageant models. Models like me. Mm -hmm. Contest yeah, beauty queen. and Miss. Yeah, oh, I'm a okay. beauty queen. I'm also Miss Marist International University. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm beautiful. What? Okay. It's a beauty queen it is. So tell me, I hope, as a, as a model, as a young model, uh, what's your greatest, I mean, like, strength as a model? But, Yanni, you know, let's say I'm a model, my strength can be my height. Yeah. So you, as a model, what's your strength? I think my strength is my fitness and my mm -hmm. smile. I will smile. Yes. Let them see the smile. <laughs> <laughs> so your smile is your strength. Yeah, my smile and my fit, and my fit good is my strength. So Hope, uh, tell me your experience as a model. My experience has been both exciting and fun. Since uh, most times I'm on the runway, I am looking for clothes. And sometimes I'm just on the runway showcasing what I'm wearing. I'm on the runway showcasing my smile. And generally just selling myself as a person, as a brand and as a model. Okay. So let's put that on pause. I want you to, to show us, like, a walking style. Still, like, up to there. A unique walking style. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Up to there. Uh, a turn or just a walk? Yeah, you can do a turn when you reach there. You can do, you know, what you guys do. What? 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 We go back. We go back. Yes. You know, walking with heels can be so tiring. I mean, <laughs> you're walking, you're tiptoeing like this, you know? Oh, no, <laughs> If I was to be given these shoes, I'm telling you, singe fika tafale. Ninge bingirika. Modeling is just a heart. You learn the skills. I wasn't born a model. It's just your, fun. What are your goals as a model? My next, it is my next competition. I would like to go for Miss Tours in Kenya. And I believe I have what it takes. So I just have to keep practicing. Because as a model, there are new, there are new turns that come in the industry. There are new works that come in the industry. And as a model, you have to be up to date with every one of them. So as time goes by, I have to keep practicing. I have, to, I just have to keep practicing. And right now, I'm in the contest for Mr. and Mrs. University Kenya. And I'm doing my best. Mr. and Mrs. University Kenya? Yes, it is the official preliminary competitions to Mr. and Mrs. University Africa. All universities? Yes, in Kenya. Okay, okay. Do you think I can beat that, Mr. Kenya? You can, if you practice. If I practice, so it only, it only need, needs practice? Yes. 
Okay, so yeah, I'll put that on my bucket list. And now moving on, <laughs> uh, what are some of your challenges that you faced as, you, as you've been going through this modeling career? As a model, you're an image. And the industry, the modeling industry is so corrupt, I can say that for sure. But there are only few agencies or few modeling industries in Kenya that you can say are up to it. But most of them are corrupt and people out here just want to use models, some of them, even show them to magazines, use them for runways but don't even pay them. That is, has been the biggest challenge. And as a model, I learned something that if you want to be a quality model, you have to set standards. If someone comes to you and tells you, I want to showcase in this run, you set your standard of what you want to gain out of it. Because a lot of people just use people, and then at the end of it, you become a model, you're famous, probably in the, in the magazines, but you're still broke. So that has been the biggest challenge. That so some of these people you see in the magazines might be broke? Some of them don't even get paid, and they won't sell you. Those teens that are out there who have a talent, but they're not doing anything, they're still sleeping on their talent. What would you tell them? You want something, you go for it. When I was 16 years, I became Miss Teen Kenya. And I went for it. I have, my support system actually is my mom, and she encouraged me to go for it. So you should have someone who supports you, if it's your brother, if it's your sister or your mom, who supports you. Ask them, tell them what you want, and go for it. And you have to work hard. Thank you. You want it, go for it. So now this segment is done. We're going for the movie review. So for which movie do you like? Actually, I like a series, Grownish. Oh, you don't yes. watch Game of Thrones? I don't watch Game of Thrones. I'm Let's afraid of horror Peace. movies. Peace. Let's I am that. afraid of horror <laughs> movies. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? And the movie of the day is... So in John Wick 2, the end of the movie, we remember Keanu Reeves was declared ex excommunicado. John Wick, you're not very good at retiring. I'm working on it. And now he was going to be killed by anyone who found him and there was a 14 million dollar bounty on his head. So Let's John Wick 3 was... Let's yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you're told to kill John Wick, uh -huh. yeah. For 14 million dollars. I couldn't Wouldn't think twice. I, would, yeah. I can't think hey, twice. Bro, you're crazy. <laughs> 14 million to but, be killed. Bro, I, he can't be killed. We all know that. So, Jamal, I'm going to be a kitabu. Oh, hey. I'm going to be a kitabu. Bro, everything that guy has is a weapon. So, uh, so, so he watching is a weapon. <laughs> he ringing is a weapon. He hairstyle is a weapon. You never know. Yeah. So, so yeah, continue. So, John Wick 3 <laughs> is him trying to escape and trying to survive with his dog. Uh, as as usual, as yeah, yeah. So, I, I think John Wick 3 was very, very nice and first of all, I'd rate it a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Perfect. And the Keanu Reeves memes have made me love the movie 10 times better. <laughs> and the, the scene where he was riding a horse, that was the, the favorite scene. So I think there's going to be another John Wick. Because he went and met the guy the was under yes, the fat guy. I don't yes, know yes, his yes. name. The fat guy. The was, was cut. Yeah. Yeah. So he went and met I him. I thought that guy was dead. Same. So I I feel like there'll be another John Wick, but three was very perfect. Oh I love the part where he met Halle Berry and Halle Berry also has two dogs. Yeah. And the dogs helped fight that that was a crazy scene. So there's this part that's funny. Yeah. Remember when the, he was fighting those Chinese guys? Yeah. I love Wama Jama. Yeah. When I'm chapa it's a pleasure. Hey, it's a pleasure. Because they're fighting John Wick. They've heard stories about him. They're finally meeting him. And, you know, so I think that part was also very funny. They, they brought humor into the movie. And also the part where I think the main theme of the movie is, you know, behind his wife. People think it's because of the dog. The dog that was killed, but apana ni juu bibi yake. So when you lembwa, I treat his life for ille wedding ring yake akadikata the the finger. Yeah, ille kuwa ndeli sutonisha all this suffering na all this death because of the wife. Eh, na ille kuwa too so crazy. Ille na kwa desert kufanya mukubwa wao. Na because. Agapata oh mukubwa ili kule mjamu wa Game of Thrones. Ah ule ule brown the brown of the black waters. Eh. I love her. My favorite actor. Not even John Wick wasn't my favorite actor. Eh. Um, Jamal Game of Thrones. I don't eh. know his name. 
favorite Okay, call you Sabron. Yeah. So, you know, you know, you know, eh. <laughs> <laughs> so, na accent yake ilikuwa different kwa kwa hiyo yeah. movie. Yeah, I think John Wick was a 10 over 10 movie. Whoa, whoa. What was your give it a no, 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 please. Let me, let me, let me, let me estimate. <laughs> I can't give it a, a 10 out of 10 because it wasn't perfect. Uh-huh. 10 well, 10 okay, give me, perfect. give me the flaws for the movie. Nini nini uliona? I want to find a better, I want, you know, Joa. I want to come back and dreams that you come here. I'm in Shazeka. I'm in. 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 I'm the, okay, that was my favorite scene. Oh, when movie gani moyo na rana? Okay, the picky picky bad. Uh, Zoro. Ah, you ni ah ah. Sasa si Zoro iko based on 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 his own itu. Game of Thrones, Game of Horses. Ah, okay. Yeah, don't don't, don't rack it, don't rack it. <laughs> so guys, meskia yo um jama na sumati kito kapo is going to watch John Wick again, for which I can't do that. And guys, in case you want to do the movie review with us, you'll inbox us your email on Facebook and Instagram and then we'll get to know, we'll get to see the way forward. Yeah, that's it for today.